Hey, this video today is for those of you that tried to get on to Dazzle and you got this screen that it wants you to change your password. Uh, and it appears that a lot of teachers don't know what their password was. And this is how to find those saved passwords on your Chrome browser so that you can change your password because you have to know your password to change your password. So how do we look up old passwords, which is what this is about. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm logged into Chrome and I'm gonna go over here to these three dots in the top right and I'm gonna go to settings. Then when I'm into settings, I wanna look at passwords. So it, we're up here where it says search settings. I just type password. If I can type password. Uh, and then you see down here, autofill passwords. And I'm going to click on that. And now I have all the passwords that are saved on my computer. Now, this is a Swoka password. So under search passwords, I'm going to write Swoka. And now look at all the passwords I have that go to different Swoka sites. Now, you have to know which one you want to go to. And I will tell you right now, it's probably this one that says central dot swoka dot net and it says dls backslash and there's my username now to see that password i'm not going to do it because i don't want it on this video but all i would have to do is hit that little eyeball to show the password i can also over here click on here and say copy the password and when you try to access passwords you can't just do it it's going to immediately pop up just like this and say you know what, you can't see these passwords unless you type in your username and password for this computer to access it. So I would have to type in my computer password and order, and I'm gonna hit okay, and then it's gonna let me copy that one. So here I'm gonna hit okay. And now it just copied it. So now I could go up here to change password and I could paste it in here I don't even have to know what it is. I just pasted it. And then I'm going to put in my new password twice in order to change the password. Now, again, you have to have upper and lower case and numbers and characters. I highly recommend you use something that you'll remember, like your grandpa's middle name. And then I always recommend ending it with um, the current month and date. Like you might say my grandpa's middle name, and this isn't my password, was Cloyce. So I might type Cloyce with a capital C and then put exclamation point 0421 because it's the fourth month of 2021. And next time I change it, I might make a Cloyce explanation point, whatever the month and date is then. So my, my password for this site may always be very similar, but it still always changes. Once you put that in there twice and hit change password, you have to wait a second for accept the new password. And then in my case, it popped up right away and said, um, do you want to save the new password? And I did so that I could log back in to um, Swoka anytime. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna go back here to progress book because I actually already changed mine. Now, if you're in Dazzle and we had to reset and, uh, your password for you and you've got a crazy password that you don't want to have um, because it's just too hard for you to remember, to change your password again, you just go up here to the little user menu in the top right and hit change password and oops, and hit change password and you would go to that same screen and then you can put in that complex password that Beth Michaels emailed you and make a new password that you will be able to remember. Uh, and again, you, you can't make it to the last one you use, but you could incrementally change your password um, so that uh, you hopefully won't forget it. Because all I have to do is remember, hey, when did I change my passwords last? And by the way, when I'm forced to change a password, I change them all so that uh, I know that the last password change was in April of 2021. So if I know my password, I just need to remember April 2021 is when I change them all. That's just a recommendation. Please don't write your passwords down on a sticky note and leave them on your monitor, especially with Dazzle, because anyone could then go in and change things of yours on Dazzle or in your T drive, and you get the idea. Thanks, and hope that helped everyone.